Our history of Bruchmarsh goes back to the time when the Romans came and built a wall along here to defend us from the Scots. In the early 1800s, a canal was built here to connect Carlisle to the sea at Port Carlisle, 11 miles away. When the canal closed in 1853, the old canal was converted to carry the railway, which it did for 110 years until its closure in 1964. Many remains of that great engineering feat are still visible today. In the 1940s, this part of the Solway coast was renamed Hudson Bay for its part in the training of pilots flying the Hudson bombers out of Silith Airfield and using the marsh as a practice bombing range together with others along the coast. As the canal arrived at Drumbrook, it crossed the road and followed the coastline. and then headed for Glasson, where it passed under the bridge. From Glasson, we can follow its path through the trees which have grown along its route. Part of the old canal is still used today by walkers following the old Roman walk. Looking back at Port Carlisle from a westerly point, very little has changed along this coast. This early map of the 1800s show the layout of the port and locks from the sea to the canal. The remains of the old pier are still visible today, as are the old dock walls. After the closure of the canal in 1853, the railway followed the same path to Port Carlisle, and remains of that era are still visible. The age of photography was just arriving, and photos recorded for our benefit so that we could embrace how life was in those days. The dandy, 
is now on show at the Railway Museum at York. Eventually, steam trains ran on the line until 1932. The line to Silleth closed on the 7th of September 1964. The lock gate entrance to the canal and basin are still visible today, but are not in the best of repair. The village of Port Carlisle has changed little over the years. The two wharf houses became bungalows. This painting helps to show life as it was in the mid 1800s. Carlisle prospered because of the canal, as trades could now import and export goods. Cars biscuits were now exported all over the world by sea. People could now travel by sea to the New World. A small village still, Port Carlisle was an important hub in the modernization of Carlisle and many a pioneer set sail from its shore. But the true pioneers were those who built the 11 mile canal and changed Carlisle forever. The port was originally built in 1819 at the hamlet of Fisher's Cross, renamed Port Carlisle four years later closing in 1856 when the Carlisle and Silleth Bay Railway and Dock Company's new railway to Silleth was opened. The six miles drive along Brook Marsh to Port Carlisle is a trip through history. But this shoreline still attracts many visitors as the Solway is a place of great beauty and peace, a haven for wildlife, a photographer's dream location, the sunsets to delight any calendar.